celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Okay, you got it all. You're ready to go. You're ready to romp. You're ready to have a good time. You're ready to talk to our special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out on the uh, west coast of the United States of America in San Francisco, California, the most expensive place on earth to live. And Will Durst. Hello, Will. Either San Francisco or Manhattan. Well, yes, but I understand San Francisco is beating out Manhattan for expensive. No, really. How about Honolulu? Honolulu? I don't Honolulu. know. I don't know. I have no idea about Honolulu. That was always that was always in the top. But you could just say the mainland in the continental U.S. In the continental United States, yeah. No, it's pretty pretty terrible actually, if you think about it. You know what's happened to it, San Francisco? It is, but I live in the boring part. I live in the Sunset District. We don't see the changes so much out here yeah. because all the kids, all the techie kids who are making. You know, three to seven hundred thousand dollars a year, and yeah. can afford to walk in and pay cash for condos and apartments and and houses. They all want to live in the Mission District or downtown east of Van Ness. So when you get west of Masonic, uh, I mean, you're talking the. Uh, they used to call it the Outer Lands, and it is, again. So, in other difficult. words, where you're living now is not considered a prime place to live by the uh, so-called uh, techie people. No. The, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's not, uh, you know, so you, you've got it pretty quiet out there. You don't have to deal with them. I live in the suburbs, but we don't need uh, to take a bridge to get to our suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, you've been traveling a little bit, haven't you? You said you were in Wisconsin. Yeah, I was in Wisconsin for two weeks. I did a theater at Sturgeon Bay, which is uh, north of Green Bay, about 60 miles north of Green Bay. And then I did uh, a, a theater in Madison and a theater in Milwaukee. Am I and wrong? Or are, you, are you from Wisconsin? I'm from Wisconsin. You're from Wisconsin. So Wisconsin. Do, do, do you yeah, have any relatives uh, so there left? So I got to see family and friends, and, and uh, it, was, it was a good trip. Yeah. And eat at my favorite restaurants. Uh-huh. Okay. So your trip home. That's good. And then you had Comedy Day in San Francisco this last weekend. Comedy Day was Sunday, yeah. And it was Debbie Durst Day. It, we got the mayor and the assembly and uh, to announce, because she'd been putting it on for the last 20 years all by herself. Right. So, yeah. so they called it, they it, it proclaimed Debbie Durst Day? Debbie Durst Day, and she got the Legend Award, yeah. Uh, yeah, I still have my plaque from when it was Alex Bennett Day in San Francisco. Oh, yeah? You still yeah. got it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't get anything for it. I told I was told I can if I get a parking ticket I can get it fixed on that day. <laughs> but that that's day. about it. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, Art Agnos was the mayor at the time. Uh, I was going to ask. Yeah. 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 Uh, then we got London Breed. Yeah. It, it was nice. I get you get a little piece of paper, but that's it. You know, it's not. You know, it, there's no nothing special. They don't say, "Hey, take over the city for a day" or something. No like key that. to the city. No. No key to the city. That that's in. I think the key to the city is a bigger deal, isn't it? I don't know if they still do the key to the city. I think that. <laughs> I think uh, when the mayor of Washington D.C. gave out a key to the city and, and somebody snorted it, I think they stopped doing it. <laughs> Oh boy! So you come back, and uh, uh, every week when we every two well, it's been about a month since we talked last yeah, because we had to forego last week because you were in Wisconsin. Uh, a lot has changed in our democracy. Um, so no. let let's get to it, okay? What do not you mean much. no? Not no. much. Not much. No. no. Well, no. not much in comedy terms. 
we're we're one month closer to the election. You know, we only got seven weeks now. Yeah. Before the election, and and the Republicans uh, face this dilemma: do they do they slow dance with Trump and get all of his supporters, or do they keep him at arm's distance? You know, so that's that's what's going to happen in the next seven weeks. There's uh, this uh, Republican running for uh, governor of Florida, senator in Florida, is the former governor Rick Scott. Mm-hmm. And uh, the guy running against him, Democrat Bill Nelson. And the two of them, dead heat, dead heat, been going like this. So when Trump said that people inflated uh, the death tolls from Puerto Rico to make him look bad, uh, Rick Scott, whose constituency includes a lot of Puerto Ricans, yeah. had to go, Oh, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> uh, even even Paul Ryan said, "Well, those are the numbers, and the numbers don't aren't, aren't yeah." And he's not running for anything. He's not running for luck. You know something? Is it my imagination, or has uh, has Trump been a little quiet tweet wise? I mean, he's still tweeting, but it's not as verbose as it was, and as ridiculous. I think. After the Puerto Rico flap, I think he kind of quieted down a little bit because he looked like a fucking idiot. Yeah, it's never stopped him before. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what's going on. I think maybe, you know, the he's getting cornered. And uh, that's, that's when rats are the most dangerous is where they have nowhere to go but at you, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. He can't hunker down anymore. I mean... Manafort turned on him, and I love the fact that Rick uh, Rick, uh, Rick Gates testified that he stole from Manafort, who stole from Trump, who stole from everybody. They're the Russian nesting dolls. Of <laughs> the Russian nesting dolls. Oh man, yeah, it's a uh, uh, Manafort thing. I love the fact that. You know, Trump was saying what a wonderful person Manafort was and what a brave person he was. I wonder what he he did. He's been very quiet about Manafort uh, turning tail here. Yeah, and and you know he says that about people and the nature. <laughs> he, I don't know what it is. He doesn't engender a lot of loyalty. Well, because and you know I why? Think that's you, you, you know that's wh- why you know everybody's doing tapes on him. You know. Yeah, Manicult Newman, Omarosa, and Woodward did tapes on him, and Cohen did tapes on him. Nobody trusts this guy. Even people who work with him. Yeah, but you know, um, uh, the reason he doesn't engender loyalty is because he shows none back. When cornered, he will turn you in. You know, he'll turn on his family, man. Yeah, you know, he'll hand, he'll hand over Jared Kushner, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not Ivanka, but but his son-in-law. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, no question about it. So, you know, that it's a it's a uh, uh, it's interesting what's going to happen with Manafort, whether he has enough to tell it. They think he is the linchpin in this whole thing, that he was in on a lot of those meetings. You know, he was privy to the uh, to the the real deal of what was going on. So, you know, I, uh, Trump has got to be a little sweating it now. That's what I think it is. I, I think, think that, well, I think he's been sweating it all along. <laughs> and that's a lot. That's a big man. <laughs> that's a lot of sweat. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think everybody's starting to turn on him, and I, that's why I worry. Because when you corner a rat, and yeah. I think what's going to happen is either America will be attacked, or knowing him and his ego, there'll be some sort of phony attack on his life. And that's what I think is going to happen, and that'll divert because you know the the media has has no st- stick to itiveness. I mean, they just well, they you know, they, you know the objects. I, I, no, I, I, I've, I've often described the press as being like the dog you have that when you throw a stick, he goes and chases it, and when you don't have a stick and you pretend to throw the stick, he still goes and chases it, and that's that the press idiot. in relationship to Trump. You know, he keeps throwing the stick, and there's no stick there, but they go chasing it, and that diverts attention from whatever is the important story of the day. I mean, 
it, just the mere fact that he uh, said that Puerto Rico, 3,000 people didn't die, it was like six and a half people or something like that. Uh, said, uh, when he said that, he diverted all the attention from the actual coming of Florence. <laughs> you know, it, all of a sudden the story wasn't Florence for the moment. But then, of course, the press got very embarrassing during Florence. I mean, how many anchors from newscasts do we have to have standing out in the rain? Especially Say, from saying, "Well, it's not a Category Four hurricane. It's only a it's only a tropical depression, but it's still really dangerous." Yeah, and look at the rain that's falling on me. I'm Lester Holt, NBC News. You know, and you watch these people. You go to begin with. If I have an anchor, I want a trusted anchor. You know, Walter Cronkite would have never stood out in the rain. He's not that stupid, right? He, he knows when it's raining, you go indoors. You know that cameraman who is shooting him is under a shelter. So why don't they put him under the same shelter? But no, they all got to go down there, go to places where they say, leave right now and do their newscasts real easy to get in because everybody's coming out yeah exactly exactly well so, isn't this how dan rather got famous was reporting a, a hurricane in texas i it might have he was a local guy yeah, and then he, yeah might have been might have been yeah i'm pretty sure yeah and i th i think that that holds true every day yeah but lester hold all these anchors of the of the 6 30 news or 7.30, I don't know what time it is on where you are at, uh, all these guys don't need to get that kind of credit at this point. But it's like, well, a, a Holt's going down there, so the guy at CBS has to go down there, and the guy at ABC has to go down there because nobody wants to not be there. I would rather, if I were running the newscast, sit in the studio and say, now here's our reporter down in I Florida. I don't think that's the reporters who want to go down there. I think that's their directors and producers. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I think that's, you know, uh, if you want to hold on your street cred and nobody has enough cred yeah. so that they can rest on their cred. I right. mean, look at, look at, look at, uh, what's his name? Brian Williams. Yeah. Brian Williams conflated two trips that he made to Afghanistan and, and he got them mixed up and suddenly he's the big liar and the president tells a lie every time he opens his mouth and he gets elected president, poor Brian right. Williams. But it was just, I think, everybody on late night new, late night, the late night shows and on the uh, comedy news shows and so on have all been kidding about how they were making assholes out of themselves during Florence by just standing out in the rain. You know, the best thing I ever saw years ago was a woman doing a report, right, saying... And it's flooding out here in New Jersey, and she's up to her ank uh, up to her top of her legs in in water, right? And as she's doing the report, right in back of her is a bank she could have stood on and not been in the water, <laughs> but she chose to be in the water. You know, in harm's way, yeah. I, I'd like to be there reporting it, saying, uh, you know, uh, it isn't that uh, that bad. It only goes up to here on the ducks. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing was that they kept it got down to a category one and they were still reporting it and then uh, i think the last news report i saw was some guy saying uh well uh florence is still going strong we have a swift breeze down here <laughs> <laughs> with gusts is up to 15 miles an hour uh, yeah it's very windy and then you know i i just it was it, it, you know, you, it, 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 the, I hate the term fake news because it doesn't really exist. Biased news? Yes, of course. All news is biased because even if you were a reporter and you wanted to go out and be as unbiased as possible, you're going to see it through your eyes and filter it through your brain. Okay? So if you want to say biased, yeah, everybody's biased. Uh, sometimes you don't show it. Like nobody knows whether Walter Cronkite was to the left or right because he never showed it, but he was biased because when he would report a story, he'd consider this one important and that one not important, all right? Uh, so, I mean, th the notion that it's fake news is just galls, it just pisses the shit out of me, okay? 
Uh, and and I, I, you know, I, I, it was a trick that Hitler used, trying to denounce the press and to keep himself uh, safe. Uh, and uh, you know, I just, I think it, it's, it, you know, I think it's, it's ridiculous, and I think it's horrible. And if he wants to say they're biased, absolutely, all news is biased. Fox is biased. CNN is biased. MSNBC very biased. Uh, you know, so so. You know, watch the newscast, I guess, that makes you happy. That's what people do now. Yeah. They don't get, they don't get, uh, you know, the the even spiel. They don't, because Walter Cronkite, uh, Uncle Walter, you know, when did he retire? It was like after Vietnam. So yeah, yeah. it must have been like 70s, yeah. in the 70s he retired. But you, he was, he was your source. And Huntley Brinkley and John Chancellor, and they all just reported the facts they didn't try to spin them and then well, the, the spinning happened and 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 you're right you're right everybody i mean you when you call somebody out for being a hypocrite mm -hmm. uh, you have to be able to see that hypocritical uh behavior but there's also they're gonna call you a hypocrite because you don't you don't call out this behavior and so that's why uh the whole false equivalency starts to, to come in yeah you know yeah but i mean I, I i think i think though uh i will have to say this that those those network newscasts are much more unbiased at least in their approach than any of the cable news networks which are all biased and make no uh, uh excuse for their biasness you know i mean we all know what fox is and fox goes yes we are and MSNBC, we all know what MSNBC is and where they stand. And they go, yes, we are. CNN goes, uh, we don't know where we are. Uh, but, you know, they tend to be anti-Trump, you know. So it's, you know, I, I but this, this, the, uh, the national newscasts are all kind of unbiased. But what's wrong with the, the national newscast is if you watch Lester Holt about 10 minutes before the hour, Right, you can almost do it by the clock. There will be a story they got from YouTube. You know, here's an elephant that went on a rampage. Here's a horse that fell in the water. Uh, you know, uh, it's always some story like that, and they're presenting it as news. And they just went to YouTube and got the clip of the day. Yesterday it was a rampaging camel. How well, ABC, what ABC does, is it has the digest. And you're right, it's about uh, 10 minutes before the top of the hour. And the digest is quick visual stories. And they have a list yeah. of the story. Yeah. And it's visual stories. So that's where, yeah, that's where they show you the, the motorboat that went over the uh, bridge yeah. or, and, or the, I, the squirrel the riding a, a monkey or something. Yeah, that's that's where they have all those stories. Uh, and, and CBS does an interesting thing. At the beginning of the show... They do one minute of headlines. So they do a whole minute showing you what's going to happen in the rest of the show, the whole show. Right. They condense it. So if you only have one minute, watch CBS. Yeah. Well, that you know, but they all have their own way of doing it. And uh, I, I just feel. And they, they all do the feel good story at the end. Yeah. The yeah. Little, okay. Little kid who has cancer who saw his dad. So for what the first we're saying time. basically is forget about the last 10 minutes of those newscasts. They're completely- I, I don't watch the last story. They, they're completely the a waste. On, on any of the newscasts, I don't watch the last story. Yeah. I'm so tired of, oh, it's the feel good, it's the Boston strong, it's, it, oh, it's it, made it, in America, and it's, and it's, and it's yeah, bullshit. Yeah, exactly. It's nothing. But, but here's my feeling. I'm investing a half hour of my life to get I'm the not, new, I'm, I'm fast forwarding. Well, well, well uh, let me just put this in context, okay? I'm, I'm giving you a half hour of my life, and I rely on you to give me the news. Why should ten minutes of that be pap? You know, yeah. I can turn over to the BBC and find out that there's a neo-Nazi movement in Germany. That's an important story. You know. Thanks. I can, I can go to BBC and find a lot of stories. In fact, I suggest people do because I, I've been spending more time there just because I see stories from around the world and what the problems are elsewhere uh, instead of this uh, uh, Trump-immersed news that we get, you know? 
And and the last story on the on the national news always has a soldier in it. It's always well, it's not always a soldier, but a good percentage of the time. Yeah, always a, and and we're churning, you know. And I respect uh, their service and blah blah and who do do and thank you and you know and uh, yeah and and then the, the the whole country throws them away after they get back. Yeah. Yeah, nice move. But yeah, but you know but, you know what happens? What happens every uh, Armed Forces Day? Uh, I say to people, "Come on, come on. Thank me for my service. You know, thank me for my service." Because they always do this with soldiers. What, what, what I was in the army. Oh well, thank you for your service. Well, yeah, yeah. I was in the navy. Oh. Okay. And in fact, okay. uh, sure. I technically I'm a Vietnam vet because Vietnam broke out about the time I was being mustered out. So I'm I'm a Vietnam vet. All right. Yeah. Come on. Thank me for my service. Thank you for your service. Yeah. You know how far I got outside of the United States to serve my country? No. Uh, Hollywood, California. That's that's where, close to the where, Pacific Ocean. Where, where I spent two years at the Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. Man, yeah, cool. yeah, 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 way cool, way cool. But, you know, no enemy planes ever got past Santa Monica Boulevard, and I consider my <laughs> job done. Okay? Not on your watch. Not on my watch. <laughs> uh, y you know, but I, I, I get a you little get a tired of it. What? You get a pension? Uh, you know, I don't think so. I, I, we haven't really checked into it, and if we do, I do. It's so little that it's not even worth going after. I can get a, a, a VA loan for a home. Yeah. We got all the information we need in case I ever, I think I can even go to a, uh, I think maybe I can go to a VA hospital. Yes. And die in the process. So, you know. Oh, it's <laughs> oh man, the VA hospital in San Francisco is is gold. It's really? The it's one, gold. Yeah, it's the gold standard. It's the one that everybody wants to yeah, go to. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I, 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 I did serve. I have an honorable discharge. And, uh, you know. Uh, kiss my ass. Thank me for my service. It was brutal in Hollywood. I got to tell you, it was just. Brutal. I think people should thank me for my service because I'm going up against uh, uh, normal uh, people. Don't want to hear about politics, and I make it funny. So I, I think they should thank me because I'm doing this for our country. I'm yeah. serving my country by by trying to reveal the truth. Yeah, <laughs> thank me for my service. God yeah, damn yeah. it. Fuck you. Fuck Teacher, you all of you. We should thank teachers for their service. You know something? You're absolutely right. Who more to thank than people who are vastly underpaid for doing a, a for raising, for babysitting your kids six hours a day? All right. And doing it with no money because rich people need more money, so mm -hmm. they can't have any supplies. Oh no, we got to cut schools. We got to cut uh, a higher education. We got to cut that. They don't have drivers' ed. Some don't have arts programs. Some. Some, I mean, we they funded the schools when when we were growing up, and and there were there was so much money in schools, and it was good, it was good to teach the kids. Yeah, it was it was good to make them want to learn and go to college, and it, it was good to make college cheap so you had a smarter population. And don't you want but to pay some somebody... rich people need more money? Don't so they got to cut. Oh, that's that's socialism. Oh. <laughs> I know, but don't you think, don't you think that uh, the people who literally raise your kids more hours a day than you probably do should get paid well? Yes. That's it. You know, plain and simple. Uh, yeah. By the way, speaking of socialism, that's the new byword, you know, for the Republicans trying to win the election uh, coming up. Is they're all talking about oh, so and so socialistic and so and so socialistic. That's the big byword now. If you listen to right. any of them talking, yeah. they're accusing so and so of being socialistic and blah blah blah. And I'm thinking about it. I'm going, well, what's so bad about socialism? We're, you're up to your neck in it anyway. And if you don't like socialism, then we'll stop. With the we'll fire everybody in the police department, we'll get rid of the the fire department, we'll get rid of the people who pave the roads. You know, uh, all these things are socialism. Yeah, it's for the better of the community, for the the greater good. Yeah, yeah, the the greater. That's good. the difference between uh, Democrats and Republicans. Democrats so, think that uh, if if you take care of the greater good, it'll come back and benefit me. 
Yeah. And conservatives think the opposite. They think that if you take care of me, it'll come back and benefit me. Yeah, and that trickle-down theory never worked. Uh, one last thing before we go. Let me say two words, Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> Man, I don't know if uh, we should be going back to high school. Uh, you know, I did a lot of shitty things in high school. I, <laughs> I wouldn't want people going back that far. But if he actually held a woman down and put his hand over her mouth, if that's what happened, that's that's pretty serious. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty serious. And, it, it, it you know, it's not so much a question of, oh, hey, he did this when he was in high school and he was a kid and he didn't know what he was doing. It does speak to his character. And character is a large part of being on the Supreme Court. You know, you would, you would think. I mean, Clarence Thomas has been there forever and he had no character at all, you know. Hey, listen, great talking to you once again, the lovely and attractive Will Durst. Hey. Uh, are you playing anywhere soon that we can know about? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, doing my little one-man show at the Marsh for six of the next seven Tuesdays, uh, uh, right up until the election. Then I'll be in New York. But before that, I go to Germany and France and Netherlands, and I'm doing like a 10-day tour over there starting on September 27th. And uh, go to Wilders.com to find out more information. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Wilders. Thanks, Will. Thanks for having me. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. And a big thank you to Will Durst for joining us this evening. We, we love Will and uh, always enjoy having him on the program. Mm. Let me get some ear, an earphone out of here, yeah, because when I get that, oh, now I can hear better. Because a girlfriend has, has, to, has to have a pair of earphones when we're doing the program, and I plug them in, and they, they cut down on the volume that I get. But now, now it's just fine. You don't care. It's all technical shit anyway. Let's see if anybody's going to call tonight. You know, we do this thing we call the citizen panels, in which there are a whole bunch of people that call at the same time. If you stick around, you'll get the idea. Okay, and if you don't stick around, well, then you won't get the idea. Let me see here. Also, let me make sure we're going out okay. Yeah, we're going out beautifully. And uh, it's terrific. Hey, listen, uh, so uh, 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 give me a call. Uh, if you don't know how to call, you can use Skype. And if you don't know how to use Skype or any of those things, I have a whole tutorial at gabnet.net on the right-hand side of the page. And by the way, you won't miss anything because if you go over there, the video is running over there. The live video is running over there, too. And it'll tell you how you can get onto Skype and how you can call us and how you can be part of the Citizens Panel. And right at the bottom of the page is a telephone number. I pay for a telephone number every month from Skype so that you can call using your phone if you're a Luddite and really don't want to use, uh, you know, don't want to use uh, uh, Skype. Uh, the number, by the way, is 347-352-0079. That's 347-352-0079. Call now so you don't forget. That's what they always say on those. Uh, I don't know. I got something stuck in my teeth tonight. Hmm. Hmm. I, mm, I just washed my uh, washed my teeth, mm. and st it must have been some heavy stuff. Oh, hey, look! Look who's the first to call tonight. Uh, we don't usually usually this guy. Well, let's wait until his picture comes up. It isn't up yet. There Hello. it is. Uh, there, there. Where, where are you at Costco? Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted a day. Huh? <laughs> I'm just trying to. Yeah, you got you get kind of got a bad signal there, but uh, uh, that was a nice way to start off the program. Girlfriend will appreciate it. Yeah, there, there. Yeah, you can tell you're in Costco. There, are the Costco racks, right there. Yeah. Yeah. I got a bad signal. Yeah, you got a bad signal in, in Costco. Um, I hope they're not yeah. trying to sell sell well, um, different section. Yeah, uh, go to a different section, see if we can hear you better. Hi, Phil. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? Thanks for your service. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, yeah, uh, you know, it, it was hell. It was hell, I got to tell you. War is hell. Absolutely. <laughs> you know. Oh, here comes Bot Bo uh, Spot Boddicker, Scott Boddicker. 
There we go. <laughs> Scott Boddicker, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there, Scott. Hey, Alex. Yeah, hey, Bill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey. uh, there's kind of a lot of noise coming out of your phone there. When you're, oh, you're me? Yeah, you're I'm wheeling here. yourself right. around. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Okay, good. He'll mute it. Hi there, Scott. How you doing? How was your weekend? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty typical. Just nothing going on. Yeah. Mine was a very, uh, very, uh, uh, I did something terrible. Uh, I, I got my, this game I've been waiting for, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> and I started playing it at noon on Friday. Okay. And, uh, by midnight on Friday, I I did a show for a couple hours, and besides that, I that I literally I no I think it was Saturday I played it for twelve straight yeah, hours. Because Friday night you had troubles getting your game box. Yes, or right, or right, right. But twelve hours of, of straight playing of this game, and my my hand I got carpal tunnel syndrome and the whole <laughs> thing, and and I got to a point in the game where I was so kind of weary of the whole thing i couldn't accomplish jumping from one place to another so i just stopped i gave up i haven't gone back to the game in like two days because <laughs> i'm mad that's why i deleted them all off my computer now now wait a minute now hold on a second uh uh our good friend rob alfano where he was calling from his garage before that looks like that's your bed that's correct yes and it's a uh it's a very big huge back of the bed you've got there yeah big headboard yeah nice and padded nice and padded yeah we have a hard hardwood one because that's what girl, well girl, girlfriend picks out everything in this house i have no say so <laughs> you know um I, I i i could i could sleep on a cot if if she wanted to you know but uh, anyway so that's a very handsome uh, bed you've got there thank uh, you Okay, and there, there, now we're seeing some stuff over at Costco. Boy, you know they all look alike. <laughs> they're yeah, and they're all set up alike, too. Well, uh, unless they like... Testosterone. There's one out in Brooklyn that's two floors. Wow, I've never seen a two-floor one. Yeah, well, I guess they couldn't find a one floor that was large enough, so they took a two-floor. Is, is it that ultra-high? can't be that ultra-high ceiling, then. It, no, it's the ultra-high ceiling. Yeah, wow. on both floors. And uh, and and they have an escalator in which you, if you've got your cart, you put your cart on the other side of the escalator, and then you go up with it on the side. It, it literally drags it up. When you check oh. out, you have to do the same thing. What? Uh, the member goes to one side, and the cart goes to the other. Well, sometimes. Not at my at mine the checkout here, stand. At mine here, it's not that easy. Okay. Yeah. No, because sometimes you go to the, you have your cart on the same side yeah, that you're paying out. See, look, yeah, he's got the arrow on the uh, on yeah. the end of the kiosk. Yeah, but on at my Costco, some of them are like that, and uh, some of the other checkouts are the other way. So you know, uh, yeah. so there we go. Uh, what did what, what? Let's see. Let's see what you've got in your cart. Uh, Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Oh yeah, a lot of ass wipe there. And let's yeah. See what else we got? Uh, we got. You going for a colonoscopy? What? It, uh, uh, <laughs> no, that's all they sell. I Haven't know, you yeah. ever shopped at Costco? Oh, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, bought that many this will times. Last me a few days. Okay. What else did you get? What else did you <laughs> yeah. get? Let's see. What else? Uh, avocados. Avocados, very good. That's, you get the same that's one. The best price on avocados. They come. Blueberries. They come in the netting. Yeah. Yeah, I know those. Uh, I got oh I, oh here's the best find, uh, a quiche, like two quiches is only like ten bucks. Really? Oh good. Yeah. Good. Mm. And yeah. Uh, organic vegetable lasagna. I'm not eating meat anymore. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Wow. I came here mostly for the toilet paper. Okay, now everybody, uh, show food. show us your show us your cart again. Just show us your cart, just quickly. Can you do that? Yes. Yeah. Show us your cart. Now, everybody here, take a guess how much he's going to have to pay for that at checkout. I'm saying, I'm saying sixty-five dollars. That doesn't look like. I thought a there lot. was no meat. Is that meat in the red no, thing? There is no meat. Looks like strawberries no, no or something. I'm going to say. Oh. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to raise it seventy dollars. It's going to come to seventy dollars. Okay. 
All right, we did this last Seven, time. You, you, 72. you were almost right on, Alex. The, the toilet paper is, I know, about 20, 18 or 19, something like that. Yeah, there's a lot of toilet paper in there. Is it the Kirkland, the toilet yeah. paper? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. So maybe I'm you gonna, go to $69. Extra on toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Uh, we'll is see it, in a minute. Is yeah. it two okay. ply? Oh, it I, is. I, I don't know what Kirkland is. Yeah, Kirkland's okay. It's two ply. It, it doesn't yeah. hurt. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying, I'm going back to 65. I'm going back to. Oh, 65. I got. Some, oh, I also have Pellegrino down there. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Seventy-two well, fifty. No, no that, that's another. That's another. I think uh, eighteen bucks. What are you saying, Jeff? I never leave with with less than eighty something dollars. It's very hard. So with yeah. the Pellegrino, that's. I think it's it, about a hundred. Uh, I'm saying it's. I'm bringing it up now to ninety. Okay. Hey, are yeah. you getting anything at the about food court? You're no. going to get uh, no hot dog, but are you going to get the salad or something over at the food court? Who eats, no, I never do that. Who eats it uh, at Costco? I, never. I like eating at Costco. I like the food court. Yeah, but you yeah. like Trump. So, you know. I, it's, I uh, used to go there until I thought. <laughs> I like the Italian okay. sausage. Okay, what yeah. is it coming to? I, I didn't know they uh, had it. This is like that show. Remember yeah, that show? It's really good. Remember that show, Supermarket Sweep? It's a lot like Not that. Not much about the bread it's on, but. Let's see. Uh, she's checking the other. How come I can? Anyone's still there? Although they're on checkout for you. Um, they're going to turn it for you. Okay. So what did it come to? What do you figure? Am I close? Do you think 90s close, guys? I don't think she's done. She, she, she's no, she's helping that. someone else. Hi. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Don't hold your breath. Okay. Let's see. Where's my credit? Is my uh, I love this Apple Pay. I oh, do love they, it. Do they do Apple Pay there? Let's see. Where is it? They don't do Apple Pay at mine. Oh yeah, well, I'm. We're in the heart of Silicon Valley. Yeah, right next door to <laughs> Apple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tap to pay. Uh, or maybe I have getting, to tap the card. We just, oh, I probably have to tap the card. That's what it is. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you see, you have to use the card. It's not Apple Pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to. I have to use the card. So, uh, I can just go like this, right? Yeah, you're sorry. You, you haven't got a picture right now, so. Oh, I oh sorry, sorry, the, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the checkout thing. Okay, really? here it comes. Thank you. Okay. All right, here's the. All right, here okay. we go. Wait a minute. I, we here don't we have go. a no, Not yet. Not yet. We have a. We have. I don't have a picture on you here. Uh, oh, you have it? Do you say, uh, 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 Phil? Uh, it, well, it, has it, it hasn't moved. Yeah. Oh, there we there go. go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, what is Nobody's it? Nobody's even close. 10. 148.10 for not, the, almost nothing. Yep. What was the highest? What was the highest? The highest is the was the toilet paper. No, the Pellegrino was 18. Yeah. Uh, toilet paper was 18, somewhere around there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The toilet paper was 17. Okay. Uh, the organic lasagna. Ooh, that was expensive. 18 bucks. Oh, I, well, I, that. I, I, <laughs> did, I didn't realize the organic lasagna would cost that much. Yeah, no, yes. that's absurd. That's the last time I'm buying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should go back to meat. Okay, that's, that's what's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. Damn it. So we weren't even close. Oh, well. God, I, I thought Shit, I'd where's be... Where's my wallet and everything? Boy. Wait, well, I lost everything. Well, yeah. Uh, no, they just took everything that was in your oh, wallet when you checked out. No, no. I, I yeah. left it on top of the toilet paper. Jesus Christ. Well, this All is... Right. This is, uh, oh, that was exciting. This, yeah, it's exciting. I mean, you gave us something. <laughs> you gave, it gave me a way to kill 15 minutes on this program. Yeah, time, yeah. Time killers yeah, are now, especially now. important to me. Exactly. Yeah. So um, we, here we have you and Costco. We have Rob lounging in bed. Uh, Phil in his normal yeah. position. Uh, <laughs> uh, and and uh, Scott is sitting there being, being Scott, being bored. What are you bored hmm. with, Scott? You don't like uh, uh, our supermarket sweep uh, thing here? I don't like the and, shop. And now here, now here, we they go to uh, the check uh, to leave the place where check they down. try to figure out if you stole anything. Yeah, they claim it's to see if you got overcharged. In fact, 
That's happened to me twice, where I got overcharged and she sent me back and I got money back. Really? They, they yes. look so fast. How the hell did they, they know? Yeah, that's a big fucking they're experts. Line. Real? Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. How do you do? How do you do that so fast? They're, they're trained at Costco yeah. University. Are you trained? Huh? You get like training? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Oh, that's the trick. They're what? Why? They're watching you as you're. They're actually starting. To look at your cart before you get there. That's how they do it so fast. Yeah. Sometimes there's That's seventy what she people. Told me. Yeah, I know seventy they, people. How she can says they peek? They peek at the cart that's coming, and then they sort of re have it stored in their mind. She just told me they remember. They just get good at remembering what they saw in the cart before the one that's in front of them. So by the time it gets there, they've already like counted half the stuff. Counted it, but they can't give you pricing. They can't know that. Wow. No, you no, they just. 19. They just. But they generally know what's in the cart, so when you get the when they get the list, it saves them some time because they like half of it. They've already kind of. She it. was cute, but I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> you're such. Know, a it kind of sounded good to me. You're such. Yeah. A, you're such a sexist. I'm telling you, I've had them send me back a couple times when I got charged the wrong over the last twenty or thirty years, whatever yeah. it's been, yeah. twice I think. Yeah. You, you know, you know what always yeah. amazes me about Costco is I've been there when there's been a line that's gone down the whole length of the store for checkout, and you figure I'm yeah. going to be here forever, right? Because yeah. you know you're used to waiting for an Apple iPhone, you know, on opening day, so you know what that's like, right? They right. get this right. through so fast that from the back of the store to the front of the store it takes five minutes. They, I know it's amazing. Yeah, they've got that line moving just amazingly. You know when it's slow, the line sure. when there aren't yeah, a lot of people. When there aren't a lot of yeah. people there. Exactly, because they don't have as many people working. Yeah. So it's like it's like you have this. I have a special membership. You can come in the morning, and there's hardly anybody there. But the thing is, there's just hardly any workers there either. It's actually slower yeah. to come in the morning. Yeah, I you get got that the black card. Yeah, I, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever the one that costs a hundred bucks instead of fifty. Yeah. Well, there was one. Yeah. There was one near near uh, where I used to work uh, for Clear Channel in San Francisco, and uh, uh, I got off at ten, but they didn't open till eleven. But they opened up at ten if you had a special card. So I bought the special card, right, and, and went in at ten. You know. Yeah. You get yeah, the, that's uh, what I have. You get a coupon back if uh, depending on how much you charge with the yeah. special card. And it's That's supposed to pay back the cost of the card, basically. It, oh, oh, it no, does. No, no, I have, I, I have the, uh, the, than... the black card, and every year I get a check, which pretty right. much yeah. takes care of the cost of the card. Well, it's a coupon yes. that you can spend at Costco. No, no, this isn't a coupon. This is a literal check. It looks like a check, but it's, uh, I think you can only Oh, yeah, use yeah, I Costco. can. Yeah, I use it on the way out, and then when they say, uh, you know, you got to pay, uh, you need your new card, and I just give them that, and they... It usually pays right. for it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're or, right. Or Phil. you can go just go buy Wait one thing Jeff, and then they give yeah. you the rest in cash. Jeff's right. got his hand up. Yes, Jeff. Now we use our our credit card from them on everything. Not just yeah. their own stuff. But any Yeah, store. you get a lot of money back. Yeah, and you get more money back from that. You know, yeah, yeah, I, I gotta tell you something. Uh, uh, I, I sent away for a uh, there are these 32-inch monitors I've been buying, and I wanted to buy one for Marjorie because she's we're putting in a Mac Mini here for her. And, and an ISO? It, 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 huh? An ISO what? monitor? No. E-I-Z-O. No, 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 no. 32-inch uh, Dell. How much do you think it costs? Uh, 32 now? Yeah. Uh, 600 uh, Try $187. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, this, uh, this thirty-inch Dell, when I bought it, yeah. thirty-inch was twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, but uh, thirty-two, uh, one hundred eighty-seven dollars of tax, and uh, they said, uh, you know, if you want, if you want it uh, day after tomorrow, you, it'll cost you another eight dollars or something. And I figured out a hell with it. Uh, uh, turn Ray, off your audio, Ray. I can't hear you. Oh, okay, let me let anything. me turn it off. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that card is noisy. Uh, 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 they said, uh, you know, you pay, and, and the same thing happened to Shecky. They say you pay uh, for this uh, eight dollars or ten dollars, and you'll get it two days. You, otherwise, you get it in about five days. 
So I just said, I had to hell with it. You know, I'm, uh, the Mac Mini isn't coming for a while. Send it the long way. It was there than here the next day. <laughs> Do not, when you order from Costco online, pay for the fast shipping because it's going to get to you really fast anyway. Well, that would depend on where their distribution centers are. So I you're guess. in New York and, you know, you're lucky. Well, I got this Mac Mini. Marjorie bought this Mac Mini for me to install for her. So I got her the, the screen and so on. And um, it we had to order it from Apple because they don't do 16 gigs uh, in, of right. memory on the standard one they have at the store, which we could have walked right. out the door with. That's eight. Right, right. Uh, and that's eight. So she had to order it. So she gets the thing. It's uh, being shipped. Where is it being shipped from? Hong, uh, Hong Kong. Yeah. All right. Hey, and I said to her, you know, you should have just picked it up when you were there. <laughs> Let me ask right. you something. Did you get the same speed as the one you bought from me? No. Are you slower or faster? Slower. Slower. So how much was the 16 gigs uh, uh, from? Uh, 200 bucks more. 200 bucks more? Yeah. It was 500 bucks? What? Oh, yeah. what? oh, what did you pay for the entire Mac Mini? It came to about a, it came to about a thousand or something because it was it yeah. was it was seven ninety nine. It, yeah. It's the middle grade machine. It's it's the one that has a turbo boost to three zero, and, and that, uh, I think that's what mine has. Or no, mine no, might have no, a turbo no, boost to three point five. No, yeah, but also your yours, yours has a turbo disk drive too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, the point was that. Um, uh, so it was like, two, it, it, they charge you $200 for the memory. Here's the bullshit with Apple. They don't want you to be able to replace anything. That's right. Right? Because I looked at how to replace, for instance, a hard drive in the Mac Mini. And you really have to be a Rhodes Scholar and have a degree in science in order to take that thing apart and put it back together again, if you put it back together again at all. All right? right? So my Mac well, uh, allows let me, let me you to finish, put in memory. Let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yours, you, my my uh, Mac Pro allows yeah. me to put in memory, but they in in the i iMac and in the uh, in the Mac Mini that you know you got to buy it with that memory, otherwise you're stuck with it. Okay. Um, th it, that sucks. I mean, I, I I would say I would I would never buy another iMac, but I would only buy it if they somehow had a thing in the back where you could slip in a new hard drive. You know, I don't I don't want to I don't want to have to buy the hard drive from them. I don't want to have to buy the memory from them. I can buy 16 gigs of memory a lot cheaper than two hundred dollars. You know, but uh, that's how they how they make money at Apple. You know. Yep. You don't need a big drive, though. Uh, you know, if you use an external drive uh, to put most oh, of your yeah, junk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not even worried about that because with the three O drives, they're they're just as fast as internals. But here's the thing. So the other day, I decided, what the hell? I'm going to get myself the new Apple Watch. I like the old one that I got. You know, I'm really happy with it. I it's it's one of the few things I bought that I thought I would have buyer's remorse for, and I didn't. I really enjoy it. And the new one it has a slightly bigger screen and a better resolution. And I wanted the one that was cellular and all of that. And um, so I asked my business manager, how do we pay for it? He says, ah, put it on the card. It's going to come to about $661 for, with the insurance. I'm getting the two-year warranty, right? Uh, so I said, okay, I'm all amped up. I'm going to go buy it now. And I go online and... Uh, it's a, it says it'll be delivered between uh, the uh, 16th and the 23rd. And yeah, I went, they're delaying them. They're delaying them in the uh, the iPhone 10 X S Max or whatever they're calling well, it. Well, I they're delayed. I, I sat there going, oh, gee, uh, uh, it's only a couple of weeks, I guess. And then I looked again, and it said October 16th to October 22nd. And I went. That's still what? only a couple of weeks, really. And then they said. Well, you know, if you or you can order it here and go down and pick up at a store. So I went to look and see if any of the stores had it, and they said not available. So I don't know what are they going to do. It's launch day is on Friday. Are they going to have them in the stores? No, they fit. They they officially announced it's being delayed. Oh, really? 
Yes, they officially announced it. Wait, well, I didn't see that. I saw it this morning when I woke up. I get a, a news bulletin from this. Yeah. Forgot the name of the, the the news it's called, but I get I get all the bulletins for Apple, and it's been announced that they're delaying it. Well, Apple, so you're spending six hundred bucks to look at an EKG that you really don't need. No, I mean, it does a lot of other things too. They have a new feature. Oh. I used it with girlfriends called Walkie Talkie. Yeah. If I want to talk to her on the, you know, just on her uh, on her uh, her Apple Watch, and she's at work, I just put click the thing like you would on a button, talk while I'm pushing it, and then let up, and then she can talk to me back. But you don't Ooh. want to talk to her when she's at home. Huh? Well, what's the, you well, never I, want to talk to her when she's at home. Well, that, this way we'll <laughs> talk to each other more, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> This will rekindle that love that you first felt for one another. Yes, right. Uh, mm. But uh, uh, is your hand up, uh, Rob? No. no. Oh, uh, oh, oh, no, that's part of your bed. I look like it was your hand making an okay signal. Je Jeff is. Jeff. Does anybody have a Fit watch? No. Fit? Yes. Fit? Uh, fit? No. I have a it? Garmin. I have a Garmin. It's better than the Yeah, I have one. I love it. It also is almost it's similar to an uh, Apple Watch too. I, it gives me messages. Uh, I can call people from the watch. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a garment. I had one and then it disappeared. Oh, I didn't take it. <laughs> I didn't either. I have it right here. <laughs> yeah, give it back. Yeah, uh, disappeared. But your hand was up, uh, Jeff. No, I just was going to say I want to buy an. I'm thinking about buying a new another one instead of the Apple. It's a lot less expensive. But. Well, you know something. Uh, the, the thing that they did say. I mean, you've got a heart situation. It you can do an EKG with it now. The new and it's and, been approved by the American Heart Association and the uh, government. The FDA has approved it. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Isn't the this, this built message, into his heart? Huh? Don't you have your pacemaker? Does that all automatically, and you can? Oh, yeah. He's hey, got sir, he didn't need it. Talk about yeah. invasion of privacy. Ah, uh, that's right. Can they tell when you're having sex? That's what I want to know. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask my cardiologist. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, look at this. Hey, I realize with my CPAP, if I bring my CPAP to the to the sleep doctor, she reads the card, and if if that's happening, well, you're breaking up on us there. My, my CPAP is Wi Fi and it sends the signal to a website that they can look at. Yeah. 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 I quit using mine. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I do. Trust me. It's. Well, uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what the newest Two of them, they're in the closet. But the newest, <laughs> that's what newest most people th say. The newest thing with me is, is that my doctor, I went to him on Friday about the numb feet, my. Uh, what do you call it? Neuro neuro neurologist. Neuropathy? Neuro no, I don't have neuropathy. I don't uh -huh. have neuropathy at all. Um, in fact, he did some medical tests on me, some blood tests to make sure I didn't have a rise in something or another. And I have all very normal levels in my blood. So it's not, it's not neuropathy. It's, it's actually, it's a, pinch, it's a pinched nerve. It's a form of sciatica I have. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that's... Uh, enough to, uh, uh, you know, make you understand what I have, but it, I, I don't even know. So what he did is he gave me, um, uh, he told me to start taking a, a pill called amitriptyline, which is used to be called Elavil. Uh, this is a generic form. Uh, and it's an antidepressant, but it is also, uh, if you keep taking it, it'll it'll, it deals with pain and a few other things, and he says this may help it. The only thing is, I, I, he says you can't take Xanax with this because you'll get really loopy the next day because it, 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 this will put you to sleep on your own. And it does put me to sleep, but I keep waking up every two hours. And I don't like that because with the Xanax, it just knocked me out. But anyway, so I'm trying this stuff now and see if it helps at all. But, you know, if it doesn't work, I'm, gonna, I'm getting off of it. I don't like it. Uh, here we go. Here's you take a the, full the pill. Hmm? You take the whole you, pill. Yeah, but if, I, if I showed you how big a full pill is, it is so tiny. This is the tiniest pill I have. 
You, you know how you usually take a pill, maybe you put it out on the dresser drawer or something, you can take it a, a little bit later. I don't know if you can even see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. See that, folks? It's, yeah. it's just a small little, it's so tiny, it's ridiculous. In fact, it only fills up the bottom of the, very little of the bottom of the uh, thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so I don't know. So I'm on this stuff, and... I feel a little loopy from it, but on the other hand, I also feel, I don't know, I'm not as depressed. So, you know, what the hell? What the fuck? Numb nuts over there can say anything he wants to about Trump, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know, what you need is uh, have the guy bring the chiropractor over and have him push on the, on the one thing that does the sciatica, and you're probably going to be fine. You know, take 30 seconds and you're done. I was pills. thinking of trying a chiropractor once, and, and if I even see a minor improvement, I will go back to it. The one thing that they can really do is the sciatic nerve. They, well, that they, have, they have good success with that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I may, I may I, go to the, her chiropractor because he wanted me to get a, 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 an X-ray, and I got an X-ray anyway. So he can yeah. look at the x-ray and we can, he can, I want to see if he can, you know, I don't want one of these deals where they go, well, it's going to take many visits before we can make it better. I don't care. Then you don't want to go. Then I don't, you don't want to no, go. No, wait a minute. I don't want 100% better. I want just even a marginal improvement and I'll go mm -hmm. back to them. Well, they don't ask you to make more appointments until you see the improvement of the, of the adjustment. And then when you're paying for that one uh, session, that's when they say, well, you should probably come back 12 times this month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hated that. I, 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 it's, uh, that's why I stopped going. I know they're they, trying they to make me. a living. Well, no, they help me. You know, it's not the, it's not medicine. Like you go to a doctor or it's not, it's not uh, treatment. Like you go to a doctor, he gives you a pill and you see him maybe in two weeks or never. This okay. is one of those things. You just have to go back because if your body keeps going out of adjustment as you live gravity, extra weight whatever it is you're just living day to day does it to you yeah, I, yeah. it's it's net i just but i couldn't i you know every day or you know three times a week and you're you're at the chiropractor and you're laying there for an hour and so you got an hour there and then you got what however long it takes to get there and get home it's a lot of your, of your day well i mean when i go to my physical therapist who my doctor feels is actually doing some good for me because he said i'm walking a little differently and he noticed that I was favoring a certain it was he said I, it's just it's working so he said keep going to the, the physical therapy so I got to make another appointment I stopped going because I was having a doctor's appointment to see what what to do about it um, but that takes me uh, 40 minutes to get down there and 40 minutes to get home and an hour for the physical therapy mm -hmm. so that pretty much blows my whole afternoon you know <laughs> uh, and I'm not working out as much as I used to. I was. I, I'm only going about twice a week now. So, conscious decision or just? I'm just. I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah, it's boring. You know, it's really fucking boring. And if I, I, I figure if I go to two two days a week, uh, I maybe won't get bored with it. You know, mm -hmm. but I just don't want to do it so much that I get. To, you know, I was doing five days a week, and it was ridiculous. You know. It's kind of like playing Tomb Raider, you know, driving me crazy. <laughs> so, uh, 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 better call Saul. Yeah. Did you see this last episode? Yeah. Uh, what's the split screen thing mean? Oh, no, that was, was the that was a whole, it was a beautiful way of showing how the two of them were starting to spl split apart. Ah, how, is that what it meant? Yeah, they were starting to, I mean, if you notice in the beginning, they're both brushing their teeth and... She, right. He's he's putting the toothpaste on her brush, and then in the next one, uh, she's brushing her teeth, and he's brushing his teeth, and they both spit out the same. And then all of a sudden, you see he's just brushing his teeth alone, and she's brushing her teeth alone. And Got then it. Said, and, and one thing or another, you begin to see the alienation that started going on between them. Okay, uh, now I get it. And that was a really nice way of showing, very artful, uh, terrific. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was one episode where everything was uh, uh, shadowed or, uh, uh, you know, when the window's behind you and it's light and 
uh, silhouetted. Yeah. And uh, that was the dark episode uh, when I think the brother uh, burned up. Yeah. But it's but, a, you know, it's a, it's a good show, and he's finally becoming Saul. You know. Yeah, yeah, he's got the card, Saul Goodman. Yeah, but he's selling f uh, burner phones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, uh, hey, you can come back now, Scott. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you know. oh, Scott, oh, you, you shouldn't have even yeah, started well, in yeah. on that. No, 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 he covered his ears, and then he got up, oh. and he walked, uh, walked away. Well, by the way, so what sick. is the cutoff time on spoilers? I mean, would a week be good? You know, that you then can blurt the out. The show any... comes out on Monday. Monday morning, Tuesday morning is good. Oh, if he hasn't seen it by then, we have to penalize him? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's just, you know, go back to school. Yeah, I, I forgot that show... he, he watches the show. You don't watch it, do you, Rob? No. Better no, call I don't. How about you, Jeff? Do you watch it? I used to watch it, and, and I'm, I'm going to start doing it's it. Actually, it's, it's very good. I'm interested. It's in it. an interesting show. Okay, that's yeah. the best way to put it. By the way, anybody uh, watch the Grammys last no. night? No. I saw the what, a what snippet a where the guy proposed. What a fucking disaster that show was. Lorne Michaels produced it. He got Saturday Night Live writers to write it. And uh, <laughs> SNL won for Best Variety Show. Go figure. Uh, <laughs> and and he, the, he, uh, he, you know, it was the, the writers. Uh, uh, were the Saturday Night Live writers. The band was the same people who are the band on Saturday Night Live, uh, and it was uh, it, 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 it it it's fine when they're giving away the awards, but when these people try to do comedy banter between each other, and some of the comedy bits all fell just fucking flat on this show. It was as bad as a normal bad episode of Saturday Night Live. Okay. Um, but uh, I, I, I was happy with the awards themselves and who got them. You know, I thought they were all very deserving. Uh, you know, Mrs. I don't know if you've, if you've seen The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Oh, yeah. But yeah. it's a great show. And I went oh, back I, and, yeah, I've I, seen it. and I, I watched it, started watching it again tonight or today just for the hell of it. And I'm enjoying it the second time around. I mean, it's just it's, a wonderful it's, it's show. It's rewatchable? Yes, very rewatchable. Uh. Yeah, um, she's terrific. The writing's terrific. It's just it just has a feel about it. It's not like anything else I think that's around. And I really, really enjoyed it. And so I thought it deserved it. I think Game of Thrones deserved to win because it's a big show and it it works. You know, uh, so uh, you know um, that isn't bad. Hello to Tony Magno. Uh, how are you, hey. Tony? I hear I hear your home oh. almost burned down. Yeah, it's. I got to talk to you about this. Dad, he's forgetting a little bit. What? It's that's from the infection. So your parents are starting to forget. Yeah. Yeah. Do they still know who you are? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, okay. So a Kanisha almost did you in, huh? Yeah. You know what happened? I don't want to interrupt you. Want me to tell you what happened? Or yeah. No? Go ahead. Tell us. Yeah, we, okay. we haven't got much what going. What happened here. is the other morning I got up and I go upstairs to give me their breakfast and their pills. So my brother leaves early to go to the city. So, okay, so I go up, I smile, I made breakfast, I gave dad his breakfast. And I says, all right, I'm, I'm going to come back if he's eat. I said, I'm going to go down and shower. I'm going to come up. And then, you know, I'll give you your pills before we leave before I go to work. Yeah. Okay. So I go downstairs and I feed pebbles too. And I'm reading my emails because I sold the book on eBay. So I'm sitting there, okay, I'll just mail this out over the weekend. And I hear her yelling, you you have a fire downstairs in the kitchen? I'm like, what? I says, no. I ran upstairs. You know what it was? There was smoke in the kitchen. I couldn't figure it out. I thought it had. I thought it was the toaster. So my father's inside. He was laying down taking a nap. One of them must have put a knish in the microwave for I don't know how long. And it was just burning. I called 911 right away. I says, Mom, we got to get out of here. So I couldn't find out what the smoke was. And I kid you not, Pep Coco was upstairs. She was in the porch just laying there looking around. I took her on the leash. I got her out first. Okay, well, I put her down by my apartment. <laughs> then I went back upstairs. 
And I said, we got to get out of here. So my phone's like, what's going on? And I said, there's a fucking fire here. I said, and then the fireman came. It was the microwave. I wanted them to check that it was nothing electric. Wait a minute. You, pull, uh, you called out the fire department to put out a fi- uh, not a fire, actually, but a smoldering piece of food in the microwave that had been on for a long time. I didn't they... know where it was. Tony? I didn't know where it was coming from. Tony, did they... The on. Tony, did they pull the microwave? in the stove. Tony, Tony, did they pull the microwave off the wall and get out and rip out the sheet rock? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they, Tony, you should look into putting in some cameras. That, you know what I did? I'm going to tell you, I kid you not. You know what we did? Me and my sister and brother discussed it. They're not bad, but I want to be proactive. I locked the stove. I have child things, right? Just in case they walk away and forget, they can't touch it. So I have child thing on the stove locked. Yeah, but how do you prevent them from turning the gas on on the... Oh, no, it's like childproof. It's like they got they got to break it. Oh, really? You know what I am doing now? I just don't want them to turn the stove on if I'm not home. What it is, you don't care if they die. You just don't want to. That's exactly <laughs> it. I, I told my sister, I said, I'm afraid to go to sleep. I mean, they, they apologized. And they were like, I didn't do it. You didn't do it. So I'm not blaming anybody. But I don't want to die from smoke. Well, who, put the, who put the condition in the microwave? They don't know. He's saying she did it, and he's saying she did it. Yeah. So I don't have a cam. I don't. I, I, I need, said, well, you need cameras. Is- we we just put cameras. And my my mother lives alone. She's eighty eight. She's losing it, oh. right? She's losing her memory and stuff. Oh. We put cameras in all the rooms of the house, and now we can log in and take a look. It 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 uploads the video. It uploads video so you could see what everybody did because yeah. it 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 records based on movement. So when movement oh. happens. It she records just told me video. You take the garbage out. Come on, it's eleven o'clock. <laughs> hey, my friend got a Nest camera, and oh, uh, got a little nervous. We out, yeah, we were out to dinner on uh, Saturday, and uh, he says, "Hey, you want to see the cats?" And we have a cat sitter because he's in L.A. and he was up here, so he uh, he shows me the TV's on. The cat sitter is sitting there watching TV, and the three wow. cats. Are uh, you know hanging out, and it was live, as, you know, as as we speak. It's amazing. It's almost as interesting as interesting as this show is to look at. And you know, my brother says, "Who has the condition eight o'clock in the morning?" I called them in the city. I had to interrupt the city meeting. I, just, I don't know who did it. They don't want to fess up to it. Condition's not in the morning. I threw the microwave, but it's on the sidewalk now. It stunk. I had, to, I had to open up all the windows. It smelled of burnt, whatever that fucking thing came out of that microwave. Well, was that, well, you had to see me well, well, Wait, 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 wait Wasn't the fire. fire department a little pissed off at having to show for yeah, a burning condition? Yeah, they came right the block from me. They came right up. You know what the guy said? I thought we really had a fire the way you called. <laughs> <laughs> they came in five minutes, I think. Do they like that? Do they like that because they get to turn on their siren and put on their rubber outfits. Yeah, like go, they five, had to go to three houses. <laughs> I says it was the microwave. I figured it out. I says, but just make sure there's nothing going on. I said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's yeah. crazy. Well, how old? How old? How old? How old, how old are your that. parents? Huh? How old are your parents? My dad is eighty-two, and my mom is seventy-seven. Really? She's younger than I am. Yeah. Oh, but you're younger than her, Alex. She can't work anything. She calls me for everything. So does Alex. <laughs> no, but he's, come on. I mean, I don't want to make fun of her, but she's, well, my mother's legally blind too, Alex. I took her to the eye doctor. Oh, wow. She she's should call the show. She can only see a little bit in the other. So we got an Irish lady coming over now for a couple hours during the day to give me a little bit of a break. Really? Oh, good. That's good. Yeah, it, it is this piece of mind, so. Okay. Well. She did a little cook and watches them a little bit and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. She Actually, I had a stew. It wasn't bad. I took it from my mother. I, I, well, I, you know, this, this, uh, uh, Rob, you know, I had a mother that lived to be 100. And I can't say that it was the most pleasant thing that ever happened to me. I was thinking, you know, because really it, be, no, no, because it is really, it becomes a real burden to you. Stressful. It's, bad, it's yeah. very stressful. Yes. And I live in, in, in Virginia. My brother lives 30 minutes away from her in, on Long Island, and uh, he's dealing with the brunt of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, um, it, it, you it, know, it, we, 
the cameras are a great thing because I mean, they they, they they give you, you know, peace of mind. On, we me. could watch my mother before she goes to sleep at night. She talks to herself, so you hear her, right? Because okay. you could hear everything. And my mother says, "Okay, everything's out. The stove is off." And she walks around the house before she goes to sleep because we were worried. Shit, she's so forgetful that she could leave the stove on or she could, you know, whatever. I'll tell you what happened. From from what you say, from what, wait a minute. Hey, hey, hold hold it down a little bit, Tony. Uh, uh, Sorry. Yeah, because other people are trying to say something here too. I'm getting all nervous. I know. Don't don't get, you don't have to. Okay. Uh, uh, You know what I'm thinking is what you should do is compile all the tapes of your mother talking to herself and whatever she does around the house and then slap a Netflix original on the beginning of it and you got a good deal going for you. <laughs> Reality now, TV. Had, it, it, now, the other voice that you heard, you sure it isn't the boyfriend coming over? No, there's no deep voices. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be a deep voice. This is a new new era. We yeah, you in. don't want, look, <laughs> you, you do not want to put cameras in mom's house when you think she's fucking somebody. You know, yeah, you just no, don't want no. it. That, you know, but. Uh, 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 yeah, it, but it, I found that as my mother got older, it became, it was a constant strain, you know. It wasn't that I wished her dead. On the other hand, I often said to myself, if she died tomorrow, you know, I, I mean, she's 100. Am I going to cry? That's being selfish, you know. Yeah. I just say, hey, she lived a good life. She lived a long life, and God bless her, you know. Uh, but when she got to be 95, she started getting dementia. And it was, you know, that that got really difficult because wow, ninety five to get my mother's got it, and she's, you know, she started probably when she was about eighty three. Well, my mother, I don't, I don't think she really didn't get it to a point where we were worried about about her until she was about maybe ninety five, maybe a little younger than that. But uh, it, you know, it really got bad when I was when I told her, "Mom, I'm going to New York," and she said. Uh, Oh, well, be sure to say hello to my parents. Yeah, my mom does that once in a while. Yeah, your father's away. My father's passed, right? Yeah. Yeah, she'll call her and say, hi. yeah, your father's away for the weekend. Oh, okay. I don't even correct her. Yeah, wow. I don't do that either. Wow. They make a mistake. Yeah. It, just, the other it day, is what it is, and uh, that's it. The other day, I had a little something like that. I said, my wife is in Hong Kong, but I was right. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I feel bad for them a little bit, so. Yeah, well, you know, we, we, we understand what you're going through because we've, we've, we, Rob's going through it. I've gone through it. Yeah. Anybody else have any parents that got really old? You, Jeff? Yeah. Well, my wife's uh, mother has still got a little dementia. Mm-hmm. And the good part is she lives, like, right down the street from us. Oh, that's, she can that's walk over. But yeah. that was totally unexpected. The reason that we moved there was to be closer to where her old house that she lived there for like, I don't know, 65 years or something like that. Yeah. Say, well, we ought to be a, a little closer in case. Well, then all of a sudden she walks to our place and she goes, oh, this is nice. Well, I think I'll move here too. <laughs> <laughs> unexpected, right? Yes. Yeah, my but, mother's you know. ninety, and you think she's sixty-eight. Wow, you got good uh, genes. Though. She exercises, she drives, she still acts. She's she does commercials. Wow, uh, she did really? a Delta in-flight commercial not too long ago, wow. uh, and uh, she was a realtor in a movie in Atlanta where she had a scream. It's pronounced uh, realtor. Yeah, man. So maybe uh, we could have her come on Gabnet instead of you. So. Excuse me for correcting you, Phil, but I, I'd like to see English not have to be your second language. Uh, well, <laughs> maybe it is. <laughs> and, uh, you know, my first language is New York. Mm-hmm. Where they say realtor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, you know what I always have trouble with with girlfriend? Okay. There's a thing, and it's a big metal object, and you have it in apartments in New York, and it gives out with heat. What's it called? I know. Radiator. Radiator. Wait a minute. Radiator. Wait a minute. Tony, Tony, what is it? Radiator? Radiator. What? Radiator. Now, what? She it burn up by me. It Rob, what, it, what is it called? Radiator? 
I grew up with it, radiator, but I know it's radiator. <laughs> How about you, Phil? Radiator. How about you, Scott? Radiator. Yeah. yeah. Radiator. How about you, Jeff? A radiator. Okay. A radiator. <laughs> radiator. Well, that, I don't talk. Yeah. I would just say a radiator. But she do says any of you... she says it's radiator, and I said, yeah. Look, what is what does the thing do? What kind? What does it do with the heat it has? It radiates heat. Therefore, it's a radiator. Radiator. We never do, do any of you put the T in often, often? You know, some people pronounce it often, and then others pronounce it often. I pronounce it often. I pronounce I it, it often. often. Well, often. you know, there's a difference. Uh, uh, I'm from California, and I refer to the thing on top of a house as a roof. Yeah. But you yeah. ask New Yorkers, and they call it a roof. It depends on where in New York, because we always called it a roof. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Um, uh, but you know, so you say radiator, and I say radiator. You know. Yeah, I grew up thinking, oh, I got to change the antifreeze in my radiator. Everybody said radiator. I didn't know a radiator until later. I was like, oh, that's true. It's not a radiator. It's radiator. Yeah, because well, radiates heat. It fries. It could be frying rats on top of the radiator, and yeah. then it's a radiator. Or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, oh, well, I got a couple of items here. Let me get to these first. Hey, can I get yes. to an item? Sure, go right ahead. Did everybody hear what's with... going on with in Texas with the education board of ed? No, no, I missed it. Oh, this is great. Oh, you haven't heard, Scott? No. So the board of ed last Friday voted to remove historical figures, including Hillary Clinton and Helen Keller from the mandatory history curriculum in Texas schools. Wow. Re really? Yeah, Why? they're removing them. Why? Helen Keller. Why Helen Keller? Um, uh, because they deem them not... Um, what was the reason that I heard? I'm trying to think of the... They, they What they do is they have a board... And they all vote. Uh, they put a, a, a list of names there, and the one that and the names that get the most votes, they put on. They 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 set up to to remove from the list. Like we need to pare it down. It's like uh, I don't know. You're you're on a budget and you're trying to cut back on how much money you so spend. We cut, we'll cut Why would in. you have this meeting to to pare it down? Pare down history. By the yeah, way, by that's... the way, by the way, speaking of Helen Keller, I heard a great joke the other day. It was on something we were watching. Uh, did you hear about the uh, the uh, the blind guy at a Passover Seder? And they pass him the matzah, and he feels it and says, who wrote this shit? That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. Hey, uh, did you sleep with Kavanaugh? No, he, he actually forced himself on me and held my mouth while I tried to scream. Uh, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's um, did the same thing to me. Do you know she's asking uh, that she doesn't want to appear Monday? Uh, yeah, she yeah. wants one hundred thirty thousand dollars. No, 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 no. She wants something very important and very good. Yep. She yep. wants an investigation by the FBI before she speaks in front of the congressional committee. Good for her. It's a delay tactic. No, it's not a delay tactic. They've had this letter since July. It's a delay no, tactic. You know what? They, if this they, guy's a, cr a scrub, a crumb, a schmuck, he doesn't belong in the Supreme Court. So delaying it is people, fine. 65 women from the time he was in high school to present have all said that this is not the kind of guy he is. Well, well apparently when they find were, that out. Uh, how do you know when he, what he was when they weren't looking? That's the question. Hey, no, wait a minute. Let me, let me did, finish. The, I think this woman. Wait, listen. You're wrong, to begin the, to begin with, the reason they did not release the letter until now was because they didn't have the permission from the woman to do it. She didn't want to really get involved, and she was then prevailed upon. And that was when Feinstein was told, "Here's the here's the letter. Here's the story. But we're swearing you to secrecy unless she says, okay, you can release this.'" Have you heard the other details around this? Yes. What are you going to yeah. do? Besmirch the woman? No, it's sure. so. It, I think that she is imagining or had had this thing happen, but not with this guy. It was, you know, because well, she said there was you another weren't guy there. In the you room. don't know. She said there was I, another I, guy I, in the room, and that guy says it never happened. I would love to hear what an FBI. Okay. Uh, what an well, FBI. the FBI can't do that. They can do a background. 
but yeah. they can't uh, investigate a uh, crime that happened within a state. It's got to be a federal thing. Well, no, they no, they can they, they, they can they, do a background. They can do a background on this and, and check the veracity of the story uh, because it yep. is involved in a in a federal uh, situation. This is just an the other thing. To delay. The uh, it is not the other thing that's going on here it's is huge. the pre the press. The press is going to do its homework and find out all kinds of crap. You watch. They're going to ascend on wherever that happened, and they'll find she people. She doesn't know where it happened. She doesn't know when it happened. You, she knows where she went to school. Wait, you don't know yeah. what she knows or doesn't know because that hasn't been she, released, Phil. She knows where it's she went released. to school, and no, she, it knows, hasn't been. she knows enough, uh, enough about it that, that the, the press will get a hold of that information, and they'll dig, dig, dig. they got a week. You're going to wait to see good. what's going to show up. Hey, Kavanaugh says he wants to, you know, con uh, confront her and yeah, uh, and he wanted to do questions. it, and he wanted to do it today. And why do you think he no, wanted he to do it today? He says he's ready to do it today. No, no, but he wa he was pushing to do it today. And why do you think that might be? Because to give no believes, one a chance. Because he believes give, he's innocent. Bullshit. Because he gives no one a chance for shit to come out and get it get confirmed before all the crap does come out. Well, you, you know. know he, you know, Yelp. yeah, you guys, Yelp. you guys Yelp. are amazing. Yelp. What do you mean we're amazing? How are Kevin we amazing? Yeah. yeah, what's that? What, what, he, he, what? he said to Orrin uh, Hatch, right, the yeah. Utah senator, oh he, said he wasn't at the party. The girl doesn't even know what party it was, but he wasn't there. Well, he's saying he wasn't. He, he doesn't have he any connection. He doesn't know where it was. How does he know he wasn't there? He right. says that he doesn't have any connection with her. None. He remembers her. But he hey, remembers her. You guys are so fast to convict the guy on a woman's no. 35 year old misrecollection. No. She can't wait a minute. Wait, 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 Hold on a second. Phil, 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 the right Phil. Guy. How dare you say it's a misrecollection? It may be an accurate recollection for all you know. You weren't there. You don't know. Neither do I. Phil, you have it absolutely backwards. We're not ready to convict. We're not ready to put him on the Supreme Court until we know. If it's all false, and he gets through. I don't like it because he doesn't stand for what I stand for. But if he's going to get on, then he's going to get on. But we shouldn't put him on until we go through this. You're well, the one trying it. to rush it. They're going to the they're going to interview. They've offered to interview her. They've offered to interview. Oh, yeah. Him. Partisan interview. That'll work out real well. That poor uh, woman. That, gets that's, <clears throat> that interview is by all those senators that interviewed. Uh, OK, let me Phil. Let me tell you something that was brought up today. Kavanaugh. And it's a very good point. It was brought up by mm -hmm. Chuck Todd on on his program when he was talking about this. He said, you know, here you've got a guy like Kavanaugh who has been taught, teach, prompted, gone through uh question and answer periods uh, that w weren't part of the uh, of, of the whole deal so that he could rehearse for his uh, time in front of that committee. He was rehearsed, he was uh, studied, and all of that. Now you're bringing a woman in front of that committee who doesn't have any of that ability. She has not been coached. She has, you know, doesn't she, need to be wait, 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 she's she, She's going to have to be uh, uh, she's going to have to somehow survive the situation under much more strenuous circumstances than Kavanaugh. Uh, and I, I agree. I think that the FBI should look into the validity of this story. And then if it, if it shows any possibility of being true, then she should testify in front of the committee. But, and you know, you've got to remember the three of the members of this committee were the three members of the same committee many years ago who vilified... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Anita Hill. Anita, Anita Hill. Hill. Yeah. And and yeah. and now we're beginning to find out that Anita, Anita Hill was really yeah. screwed, really big time. It's you know, unbelievable. And, and it was people. And she, it was people she, like Orrin Hatch. She's a patriot. And it was there were people like Orrin Hatch who who denigrated her uh, in order to get that that weasel this was through such to the Supreme Court. a kangaroo court. court. It's unbelievable. What? It's a kangaroo court that you guys uh, have here. Uh, amazing. Supporting uh, this woman who comes out of nowhere, uh, and, and and also she's an anti-Trump. Phil, yeah. Phil, let me ask you something. If you if you had if 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 a guy, you're a guy. If if you knew something about Kavanaugh that he screwed you or did something that was really terrible, and you're sitting on this information, you go, "What should I do? Should I say something about this? This guy's going to get a lifetime appointment 
to the Supreme Court. I know this information. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to be vilified. I don't want to be under the microscope. I don't know what's going to happen to my life after I become so public. So you go you to you go to a senator, your senator, and you say you have this information. You, you, you saw, say, look, you saw, I'm giving you this information, but you I saw don't what want happened. To you saw what happened to Anita Hill uh, at the hands of uh, what's his name, Orrin Hatch and Grassley, and I'm trying to remember the other guy. Uh, the three senators who were on the committee when Anita Hill was there and simply tried to turn her into some kind of a nutcase, a tramp, whatever, in order to decry her, her uh, recollections of Clarence Thomas, which compared to what's being talked about here were minor by comparison. He was telling dirty jokes, making her look at pornography, talking about is this a pubic hair on this uh, Coke bottle Coke or whatever, yeah. Coke can. Uh, you know, things like that. Uh, these were just innuendos. Uh, this was literally holding a woman down and uh, putting his hand over her mouth to keep her from <clears throat> screaming so that he could have his way, If he, but he, she managed to get away. A much more violent kind of this situation. Is doesn't, it, doesn't, it, doesn't it deserve to be investigated so we have full knowledge of this guy of course but not necessarily by the fbi it deserves to be investigated why, by why? The who else who, who else oh why? yes the, the, the republican hey, you council? think diane feinstein is not going to support uh her position you think that she's got no friends in that council but you know it doesn't matter thing, they don't they hold try the to use this as an anonymous uh thing to to no, defame no. And slur this yeah, this candidate, the, this wonderful that's human that's being. Re, that's Republican rhetoric right there, because he, you didn't never answered my question about how you would feel in a situation like that, and what you deserve as a citizen coming forth with information. Uh, they wouldn't believe me, but you know, on the that's other not hand, the point. that's not the point. Whether they believed you or not, if you had if if you had this this knowledge, and you knew it was going to turn your life upside down, she's a professor whatever you have a business you she's getting you get death threats all kinds of stuff you no, have to I probably, really I think probably about this. wouldn't i probably well, wouldn't there you go so then but, you're not the patriot that she is well she's also not some no, chip, I, I don't know she's not some she's not some completely she, disagree she, she's not problem. some chippy off the uh, off the uh, off the old block she well, is uh, wait a minute hold on a, a second professor. she she is a professor uh, she has a doctorate uh, she's a uh, a, a well schooled a decent individual who claims, by the way, that this thing that happened with him uh, did affect her life and uh, sexually with her doctor husband and people like that. Psychology. Most psychologists need psychology. Is she a doctor themselves. of psychology? Uh, I don't like, think yes, so. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't, I don't I don't know. Know. Yeah, I, never, I think uh, psychology or something. No, she's yeah. a professor. Yeah, well, she's a professor and a doctor. Of psychology. Well, it, she claims it affected her quite. She told the story, by the way, in um, 2000, uh, 2012, I believe, to her yep, shrink. Right. That's right. And She's told it multiple times. It, before they knew that he was even going to be nominated. Yeah, right. way I mean, before. Yeah, I mean, She's this was just part of her times. going to a shrink. And, well, let's see. And, and, the, and the shrink uh, yeah. said that, you know, you really should get this off your chest and get it out of your system. And, uh, and just because, like, did you hear now that there's this Border Patrol guy who's a serial killer? Yes, yeah. I heard that. Yeah. So how did he get through? Oh, why, this guy's killing people and nobody knows it. He's on the Border Patrol. How well, come that all got missed? That, that FBI did a good thing. job of checking him out. Huh? Well, there the you FBI go. That's did, what I'm saying. Oh, so you're saying with what all that Kavanaugh has been through, all of the background checks and all of this and all of that, Six. it is impossible that this got caught, that this didn't get caught? I, if, if, it was, if it was out there long before uh, he was nominated, then it is pretty much impossible that it didn't get caught. Because they go back to your third grade, you know? I, I mean, they would have asked these people if there, there was so an they're not like they're not, this. They're not, checking, <laughs> they're not checking for stuff like that. They're checking for, uh, you know, are you yeah. now or have you ever they been a member of everything. the Communist Party? They check for everything, oh, they Alex. Okay. He's right. Yeah. Well, you had a queue clearance, right? Well, they missed it just like they did with this border tr patrol guy. Yeah, I, I had a, I had, I got secret uh, uh, clearance. Secret. I got a uh, top secret clearance uh, just before, no, no. just before so, I what, left. Wait a minute, just before I was mustered out of the Navy, and they didn't catch the fact that my father's cousin, uh, who was very close to us, was a communist. Right. 
They didn't even yeah, find that. I, okay. Alex, with that's with that clearance, what's in the Pfizer report that's coming out? Have what? you read it? What? The re and the unredacted Pfizer report uh, on uh, Carter Page. You know, with, you have top secret clearance. You you probably read it. Well, I don't have the clearance anymore. I'm not in the <laughs> Navy any longer. Oh, the only reason so, I had to have it is because there was a, a top secret uh, in, in at Armed Forces Radio. There was literally a bunker in the middle of the building that was well, that was uh, crypto top secret. Don't you and, keep that uh, as a, a courtesy? You know, that's uh, Comey wanted to keep his and uh, a f and Clapper and a few of those others. Well, you know, I, I don't uh, know if uh, I still have my top secret clearance. I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> You Those know. guys do keep them, though. And, 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 and Phil's trying and to make it was, sound like it's an unnormal I, thing. It's it not is a, a normal thing. The thing was that I was there. I was there almost two years. It was a courtesy. I was there. No, it wasn't, Phil. I was no, there bullshit. almost two years. You're wrong, years. Phil. Can I say something? It's not I was, job description. I was there almost two years uh, before they came out and said, okay, this is what we, you know, you, you're cleared. You know, and I'm going, in two years, I could have I burned the place to the ground for crying out loud. Don't say burn place. Yeah. 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 Hello, Tim. How are you? Hello. Hello. This Hello. is Clarence. I heard you were talking about me. <laughs> Any pubic hairs come your way? No. Okay. Coke cans? No. Oh, bummer. Yeah. So. I noticed that uh, Ray is wearing a Nike shirt. And yeah. uh, is, is uh, have you taken a knee? Uh, I'll know. take a knee anytime for you, Phil. I know. Uh, yeah, I'll get on both knees. Both knees. I, I figured. <laughs> when you say take a knee, <laughs> Phil, Phil's thinking of baseball bats. <laughs> uh, I'm all for the knee taking. All for the knee taking. Yeah, hell yeah. Anytime you can you can use use your uh, freedom of speech, go for it, man. That's yeah. what this country's so, all so, about. So, so, how much Nike going to pay us on the citizen panel? No, hey, do you know, by the way, that the sales of Nikes went up 30% because yeah, of the Kaepernick thing? Too. Hmm? I, I have a feeling that the people that support this mm -hmm. uh, are the of the age group that buys Nike Nike stuff. Well, I mean, that's why not, one of the reasons why Nike figured it wasn't a bad decision was exactly that. They felt that uh, their target group... Uh, would be happy with it. In fact, I was, I'm about to go out and buy a pair of new shoes. I'm getting Nikes because I yeah. really approve of what they did. I think that, the, the number one, the campaign was a very good campaign. Yeah. Oh, so why wouldn't you be for people expressing their freedom of speech? It's interesting I am. To me. Oh. I am in the proper place. But it's a football game, Phil. It's a well, look, football game. Look, what else would be a better wait, wait a minute, Ray. You're an actor. You're doing a play. Would you... During the middle of the play, it's not the uh, the play. decide to st sit down and take a knee uh, uh, when everybody else is doing yeah, their Phil, part. Phil, that's no, absolutely that bullshit. That would be that's... in the middle of the football game. That was yeah, that's when you're on the field. At the beginning of the play. No, uh, I uh, Phil, uh, Phil, uh, Phil wait a Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Would, yeah, Phil, what you're saying is absolute bullshit because doing a play is not the same kind of arena as a football game. Yeah, it's yes, an entirely it it's, it's, it's a show. But you might be. You might wind up doing. Wait a minute. You might wind up doing a play that kind of takes a knee by putting out a certain kind of attitude about about our society and so on. But that's not the that's not the script. You know what, Phil? Hey, Here's what I'm going to do. Hey, I am directing a play right now, and I yeah. swear to God I'm going to do this. I'm going to have all the actors take a knee before the play starts, and I will videotape it for you. All I'm right. going to do it every but performance. Don't I get swear to God. I don't swear say, to God that's going to happen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. you got to sing, the, you gotta sing the national anthem. you got to sing the national anthem. I won't. you got to sing the national anthem. i got a question anthem. for Phil. Phil? This is getting this way is out of hand here. Yeah. What? Yes, Tim. How about if you think they should be allowed to kick you out of the ball game if you don't if they see you not singing along with the national anthem? No. Same thing. No, That's what not. they do in the Philippines. I, I, I am oh, a, uh, I am a, uh, a, 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 a paid, uh, what do you call it, when you're at the ball game and you're in the stadium, uh, well, not in the stadium, but in the stands, you're a fan, and uh, you've paid to be there. And if I choose not to uh, sing along with the national anthem, that would be my... Uh, my deal, but those guys are being paid as professionals to put yeah, on a you, show. You know what? Your government shouldn't tell you what to do at your job. The government's not telling you what safety. to do. 
the government's not telling you what to do. You know, lawyer, I, you know wait a minute, stop a second. You, so, you know, to begin with, I mean, again, and I brought this up before. What's wrong with taking a knee? You know, you take a knee when you're knighted by the queen. You take a knee when you pray. You know, yeah, but I mean, they're not praying and being knighted by wait, the queen. Wait, wait, they're wait, being, wait. I, it, uh, it, they're it, opposing it, it is, police. It's a free country, Phil. It's a free country. You know, I would think there, if you were against the national anthem being played, a much better idea would be to drop trow and moon the crowd. Well, you know, and, and it's a free country. You tell the guy that's taking fifty million dollars a year to be there. You know what? Don't you work for free, and you and like he's not free. giving anything that's, back. That's, it's like he's not, not giving anything contract. back for that money, Phil. No, he's not. Oh, he's not. I uh, see. He, so he, why are they paying him that money in the first place? How's he worth uh, that much money if he's not doing he, anything? Well, he wasn't worth that much money. That's why he doesn't have a job. And he, that's why he's, he's not quarterbacking anywhere. And nobody will hire no, him. No, he's not quarterbacking because the NFL uh, has got a uh, little has got a thing about him and aren't going to hire him. They've got a, a deal they've made with each other not to hire him. Yeah, so Good. that's the called NFL. collusion. And that's called collusion. Yeah, well, maybe look at, that's look. collusion, but that's not what Trump was doing. Hey, Phil, are you Amish? Do you believe in shunning? Are you into no. shunning? Uh, shunning? Uh, yeah, sure. That's what this is. <laughs> other, other, it, it becomes politics and not religion. Absolutely. That's right. The NBA, well, the NBA is completely opposite. The NBA it you, encourages their athletes to express themselves. They are a liberal organization. The the NFL is full of Republicans who give tons of money to the Republican Party, who are supported by the Republican Party and support the Republican Party Ray, and, with many and it's illegal, hundreds it's of millions Ray of dollars Tim, a year. Do you believe that I have a right to not like what's going on? Of course you do, Abby. but you don't have a right to tell someone they can't have a job. Right. You don't have a right to tell a person well, that I didn't can't tell him he couldn't have a job. I'm well, you're supporting the person I am who happy did. He doesn't have a job. You could fool. You're only saying this, Phil, because mm -hmm. Trump said it. Wait if Trump Jeff, didn't say it, you wouldn't give a shit. Jeff, no, Jeff, no, Jeff, Trump Jeff Trump had some. Jeff's it. got his hand up. Yes. You could boo all you want during during the game, or at the beginning of the game, or at the end of the game, mm -hmm. or, the, or an hour after everybody else has left. Right. <laughs> Preferred. Yeah, but I'm the fan. I paid for the ticket to get in there, and he's the ent he's the entertainer. He's a professional yes, entertainer. Yeah, but if you don't like if you don't like the professional entertainer, then don't go to the show. I haven't gone or watched an NFL game since this started. Good. Then you're doing your part. You're doing your right, and I won't. Okay. And you have any old tickets? I'll give them to the You're a patriot, Bill. Oh, yes. my God. Trump's going to win in 2022, isn't he? Yeah, he will, actually. I think he will. Yeah. I think he might. I think, I think he it will. Sounds like he's going to win. Yeah, they're probably going to run Hillary against him again. No, they won't. If not, he'll put in for six months. Well, let, let's, get, let's get into another quick topic here. Um, did you hear that uh, there's, you know, the big controversy for years now has been uh, whether Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street are gay. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, Sesame Street, uh, work, the Sesame Workshop stepped into the clear to clear the air in a long-running battle over whether Sesame Street's Bert and Ernie are gay uh, heated up again last week. Variety reports that the issue moved back to the front burner after former Sesame Street writer Mark Saltzman said in an interview Sunday that he wrote the relationship between Bert and Ernie based off his own partner, the late editor Arnold Glassman. Uh, Sesame Workshop, the nonprofit education organization behind the PBS show, then swung into action with a message on Twitter that read, As we have always said, Bert and Ernie are best friends. <laughs> they were created to teach preschoolers that people can be good friends with those who have very, are very different from themselves. Even though they are identified as male characters and possess many human traits and characteristics, as most Sesame Street Muppets do, they remain puppets and do not have sexual orientation. They have no penises, so. That's right. Yeah. Maybe it's an innie. But on episode 374, yeah. there is a brief moment when you can see Ernie kneeling on both knees. Oh. He took a knee for Bert. I, it's... Hey, have you uh, watched that show Kidding on Showtime? Yes. No. Yeah, uh, I'm starting to get into it. It's only two episodes, but uh, yeah, it's good. 
uh, yeah. Jim Carrey. And it's here, like group therapy for Jim Carrey. Here's another interesting story. Coca-Cola is looking into a new beverage formula. You ready for this? Oh, you heard about this? Uh, it will include marijuana, even though the yeah. company sent out a buzzkill statement today after the word got out, citing the, a Bloomberg report. The Atlanta-based soft drink giant, whose earliest beverages included trace amounts of cocaine, remember that, that historical event, is now in talks with a Canada-based pot farmer, Aurora Cannabis, to create beverages infused with marijuana. Uh, the Post reports adding uh, Coca-Cola has tried to kill the buzz around the reported the buzz around the joint venture, saying Monday's <laughs> statement they had no interest in the psychedelic effects of marijuana, which are produced by the active chemical THC. So just watch. They say no. They say no. Basically no. That's not going to happen. That means what? It's going to happen. They said it's CB something oil, uh, and it doesn't have any CBD. Uh, CBD. CBD. Yeah. CBD. CBD. From hemp. Yeah. From yeah. Hemp. Well, and, THC, uh, it's we get you high. The CBD that's also present in marijuana has been promoted as a natural method for reducing pain and inflammation, as well as treating anxiety, depression, and sleepiness. I it heard works. it works. I use it. You, you, you mentioned it on the air here, didn't you, Ray? CBD? Yeah, I use it all the time. And if I take the right amount, it helps me a lot with my um, traumatic brain injuries. I've had three, you know, in the last two what, years. Uh, yeah. what, uh, what's the right amount? Oh, God, you have to experiment. Everybody's different. That's the problem. And, and, and there's not enough. So I figured out what mine is. It's a lot more than normal. I have to, I have to take a lot. And then I notice it really helps me. It's, it's like drinking beer. You have to learn how much you can drink and not get sick. Hi, yeah. hi, Kevin. I know what your level is. Kevin joined us a, a little, little late. It's kind of like melatonin, where you know some people a little tiny pill will help them, and other people have to take thirty milligrams before it does anything. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. Better late than Sorry. never, Kevin. How are you doing? Okay, I've just been running around, going crazy, getting ready for my trip. Uh, what? Where are you going? Where are you going? Um, driving up to uh, Oregon to do my uh, ALS walk. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, heading up tomorrow morning, early a.m. I'm driving up north, hopefully in one shot to Portland. Uh -huh. When's the ALS walk? Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hang out with my buddy for a few days. And oh, wow. Well. Uh, do yeah. that and make a wide swing through Oregon to see another buddy uh, on the way back next week. So, week, so. fun, fun. By the way, Jack, By the way Jack, Jack is joining us right now I, uh, to make this a full house, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Wow, oh wow, full house. Yeah. Just just what I need is I got all my guests out from the weekend. Yeah. Uh, I hear somebody say uh, that Coke is talking about uh, adding marijuana or marijuana essence to its product. Yeah. Did I... Did I hear somebody say it was a psychedelic? It's marijuana no. is not a psychedelic. That's correct. No. It is I was a, just quoting somebody from the Coca-Cola company. It is a euphoric. Mm, Let's get yes, our truck it, it's, straight here. Jack, the stuff that they're using is not the euphoric part of it. It's uh, an oil that doesn't have the THC. It's well, not it's, psychoactive. It's CBD CDC. is not so. It's CDC psychoactive. and it helps with inflammation, and pain, and things. I could use it right now myself. So that does turmeric. In that case, to hell with it. I'm not even going to buy it. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Now, exactly. Yes, can, Jeff. Can, Jeff's got his hand up, Phil. Oh. Okay. I remember, and this could be wrong or right, that in the 20s, that Coca Cola did include. Some marijuana. No, no, it's cocaine. cocaine. Coca, it was the original cocaine. formulation. Yeah. Cocaine, the right? original formulation Coca of Coca-Cola was cocaine. That was in the days when they had uh, a, a lot of these patent medicines, and they were some of them. They, some would say, "Hey, this is good, good patent medicine. This will put your kid to sleep," and it had heroin in it. You know, uh, so Coca-Cola started out the Coca-Cola part, the Coca part was referring to cocaine. It had cocaine in the formula. And about a year in, people liked the formula so much. It tastes so good that he they just took the, it. he took the cocaine out and just left the rest of it. And the 
uh, what, what, what's, what's the, what do they say? The current uh, formulation has been kept under lock and key for years at Coca-Cola. Nobody knows exactly what the formula is. And some guy runs into the vault every now and then, looks at the recipe to make sure he's got it right, and then runs out and makes more. Yes, uh, Jack. Jack. Well, all I know for sure about Coca-Cola is what my dad said. It's some nasty shit unless you put some bourbon in it. Uh, it cleans it, toilets real well, too. That, <laughs> it, 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 what, didn't they say you could take a, a nail and put it in a bottle of Coca-Cola and come back a couple days later and it'd be, d- d- like, rusted and dissolved? Pretty and, close, yeah. Yeah. I have used Coca-Cola uh, to clean automobile parts. Yeah. I saw how they uh, how much sugar is in a Coke, a can of Coke, and it's it's enormous. It's 39 grams of sugar. Yeah, uh, yeah it, that that is enough to put you into a coma. Really? Yes, Ray. I just looked it up on Snopes, which I, I know Phil is fake news, yeah. but um, <laughs> it said that the original Coca Cola did have cocaine, but it was such an infinitesimal amount that it really couldn't affect you. Well, then why did he put it in there anyway? I think it was... Be- oh, I have to read the whole thing. I think it was just it kind of like it. a byproduct of the plant. Uh, I think they had to actually... I think they might... I have to read the whole article. Well, you know, here... This is true that Coca-Cola uses coca leaves yeah. uh, as its one of its ingredients. And uh, supposedly the leaves that they use from the coca plant are what can be made into cocaine... And that was ha- that was given a- given to the government to make their supply of pharmaceutical cocaine. That yeah. that's at least what I've what I've heard. I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, I have another story here. Uh, Julie Chen, who is uh, married to Julie Les, Chen Les, on Les bed. L- l- well married to Les Moonves, uh, is leaving the talk, the show she was on for so long. And I think part of the reason was she, she, she's staying on Big Brother, at least to the end of this season, and is signing off now calling herself Ju, Ju, um, a Julie Chen Moonvez, which is kind of a slap in the face to everybody saying, I'm standing by my man, okay? And the reason they yeah, say she... I saw she, that the other night and I went, holy crap, what did she say that for all of a sudden? Yeah, well, well yeah, obviously. She, she, I think she is proud to be his wife. She's standing by him. And, yep. uh, you know, she wanted to let people know I'm not ashamed of what, what he, who he is or what he is, and I'm happy to be his wife. Uh, I thought yep. that was a very strong statement she made just in doing that. But the reason she's not going to do the talk, they say, is because uh, uh, she, she probably felt that a lot of the discussions today are about the Me Too movement. A lot of the talking on the talk is about subjects like that that appeal to women and that it would be just wrong of her to be on that show talking about that in the light of what her husband has been accused of. So, yeah. yeah, it would be about her husband all day, all night. Yeah. So so it's apparently dozens of women that he, he molested? Well, wow. over the years. Is it true that he went to a doctor or something like a doctor and he, and he forced her to give him a blowjob? There are yeah. all kinds of stories that have come out. Here's the interesting, yeah. interesting part about this. CBS, uh, the, the board of directors, was standing by Les Moonves. Number one, he's made them a lot of money, and he's been a hard worker for the company. And so they've been standing by him and standing by him, and then they found out that just recently one of the women that was accusing him was going to come forward with some tapes of she and Moonves forcing himself on her and acting inappropriate. And when he heard about this, he got a hold of her and told her if she didn't release the tapes, uh, he would give her jo- a really good job at CBS. And when the board of directors heard about that, they said, that's it, we can't, we can't back him any longer. That, that breaks the cam- that's the straw that breaks the camel's back. And they voted to get rid of him. That's the reason why. Otherwise, he'd still be in there. But he made the stupid mistake by trying to interfere in the in the whole process and by Covering offering it up. Uh, offering up a woman a job to keep her mouth shut about being forced to keep her mouth open. I don't know, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> coming. Yeah. 
so I mean, <laughs> it, 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 I you know I, it, I I feel a little sorry for Julie Chen, although I've never been a big fan of hers, you know. So, but those are the stories it's I can't. The cover up, stupid. Huh? <laughs> it's the cover up. Stupid, yeah, right? yeah, well, you know, you don't start covering. Same, if you go ahead and, and try to cover something up after the cat is out of the bag, uh, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. There's no that, question that's, about that's it. The whole, that's the whole deal with Kavanaugh, too. I don't care what he did as a teenager, but it's the fact that he and Grassley covered this thing up because they knew there was allegations. Uh, in other words, he, 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 whether they were true or not, they knew there were allegations. Right. And, and yeah. Grassley knew. Otherwise, why would he have a letter signed by women only, 65 women, which I call the, in the Kavanaugh 65, where didn't now they, we have we have the Ford 200 out there now. 200 didn't the 65 women come out at, right after the uh, accusation? No, they had the letter prepared before the hearings. Grassley Gee. knew about the allegations. And they're blaming the Democrats for keeping a confidentiality. That's just hypocritical as heck. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. And I now they say the FBI they're don't lying do it all over the place. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Wow. They're, they're all they're all a books. bunch of liars. Several of the sixty five <laughs> yeah, yeah, a good yeah. portion of the sixty five have recanted their signatures and there's two hundred schoolmates of how many, how, how many have recanted? How, 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 how many have recanted? Hold on a second. Tim over Tim, half, but Tim. Julie how ma- Tim, Tim, how many people, how many of those 65 were canted? I think it was almost half, but I have to look the article up. I it thought was it was 63 of the 65. Recanted I, I it? I saw that too, but I haven't verified that yeah, one. I did exactly. see that I heard one too. that, but I don't know if it's true. Right. But they didn't tell him what the letter was for. They right. lied to him to get them to sign the letter. Right. And she's got 200 people to sign hers, including Julia, Julia Louise Dreyfus, was, went to that school in that, about mm-hmm. that t- time period. They were known. He was part of the the Keg City Club, where they went and drank a hundred kegs of beer. And in his friend's book, it said they were drinking a keg almost every night for a while. Wow. wow. They would. They, they brought up the had keg in the car outside the basketball game. He he was up till three o'clock drinking. They blacked out a lot. You know. And you saw what he said. What happens at Georgetown Prep stays at Georgetown Prep. <laughs> Three years ago, he did that at a speech. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. They were just a bunch of... It was a... They had their own golf course. It was... Going, like, instead of high school, it was basically a college campus for $60,000 a year. Very yeah. nice school. So so what is it in, in our society that if they know about all this stuff, why is it that they just don't find a candidate who doesn't have these issues? Why are they going trying to hide this stuff? What is going on? Why are we... Why are we just... Yeah, there's a thousand... It doesn't matter that... I'm, I feel sorry for him. There are thousands of qualified judges. Let's right. find one without a blemish. And, right. And, and let's, hold, let's hold the hearings in, in a 30 days, do the investigation, and they'll give them time to read the 100,000 documents they didn't release. Yeah, well, again, it, it's all about the election coming up, and they're afraid that if they don't get this hurried and get in now, that they're going to lose control mm-hmm. of the Congress... And then they'll have trouble getting this through. So it's not about what doing the right thing. It's about it's like what they did to Merrick Garland, right? Absolutely. They do, it's Absolutely. all the same shit. Mm-hmm. They're just reprehensible. Uh, uh, did Phil? Did you have your hand up? No, oh. but I was looking for the uh, something to support Tim's statement, and I haven't been able to find anything. Uh, so. Well, I'm sure if you work hard enough, uh, you'll find it. Just like well, you can go find to, anything. Go to Twitter and go to Julia Louise Dreyfus if you want. That's one person that and she didn't sign. Kavanaugh's okay, okay. Letter. Uh, uh, no, no, she signed the letter supporting Miss Ford. Ray, right. ha- Ray I'm has his for the hand one that up. Said people pulled well, out of Kavanaugh. Ray has oh, his okay. hand up. Yeah. I right. mean, the reason they want to get Kavanaugh through is because he was the only justice that they could find who was extremely conservative and who also uh, voiced the opinion that a sitting president cannot be indicted. Yeah, this it's, is no way. No way, Miss Ford could have. Uh, prepared in two tw- in, in years ago for, for this story to come out, he wasn't on the original list that the Federalist Society gave Trump. That's right. That's right. right. He put him he there later. Because, because he, he signed a loyalty pledge to Trump, like right. we're a third world country. Right. Hey, Rob, you look like Tony Soprano right now. I just have to say that. You, you, you know what the scariest <laughs> thing today was? Did you, did you guys see Trump? He was muted for the first time when he talked about <laughs> 
victims of sexual assault. He was very muted. He is scared now. Yeah. Good. Not well, scared. He's, he's just not opening his he mouth. He knows. There's, there's no. The first time in two years he's followed the advice of his lawyers. There's first no time. benefit in him coming out against this woman. But he, he, every other sexual assault victim, he would. It was okay. only. Hey, his. listen, yeah. listen. He we get, we got we, we okay, okay, okay. We got to get going here because uh, what happened oh. was my theme uh, wouldn't play from the other uh, machine. So oh, it's, no, fi- no Phil Wednesday. No Phil Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. No Phil no Wednesday. Me uh, no you either. Oh, good. I'll do the show all by myself. All well, other people call then. Anyway, yeah. hey, listen, guys. Uh, uh, I want you to like give a. A big wave goodbye to everybody uh, so that we can uh, say good night to them. Can't hear you. Uh, yeah, uh, your mic is cutting uh, My mic is cutting out. Now, now it's fine. Now you're oh, right. well, I wasn't cutting out. It's was just you were cutting out. I don't know. G- give yourself no. a big wave goodbye to everybody. Okay, so they cut can, it out. Okay. <laughs> so they can see you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. And that's our, uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight uh, as we uh, get rid of them. Uh, and uh, there's our theme. I'm uh, having to run the theme off a different machine tonight, so please excuse me. That's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night. Stay tuned for Jack Bishop. He's next with the intersection, followed at 1 o'clock this morning by Connections. Tomorrow night, it's the Franchise MC at 8.30 with our sports show at 9.30. It's Damian Chaplin. And tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, it's me again. I'm Alex Bennett. And uh, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody.